I don't know whether it is only in Abuja or whether it is a generation, a thing of this generation. But I'm seeing so many issues where young men want to pocket their hands and then look for a hardworking lady that has a car, has a good job, has a good business, and then marry her. Everywhere is silent. Brothers, I, I, if I'm stroking you the other way around, sorry, oh, but I have to tell you the truth. It's time for young men to wake up and be responsible. It's time for, it's time for you, you know, it, it's, it's not as if it's a sin if your wife earns more money than you. But out of what you earn, are you responsible? Are you taking care of the needs of the home? Are you paying attention to your children and to your wife out of what you have? Let me tell you, young men, the sincere fact. A, ma a, a, a woman can earn 500000 at her place of work or 250000 at her place of work and the husband earns 120000 at his place of work. The the, 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 the 10,000 that the man gives to his wife out of his 120,000 from his salary has more value that, to that woman than her 250,000 naira salary. Am I correct? Any lady in the house agrees with me? Shout very well. Let them hear you. She's not asking you to bring everything, but she's asking you to take responsibility. Be part of the food that the children are eating. Be part of the clothes the children are wearing. Take responsibility. I was settling a case with a couple the other day, quite a young couple. Their children are still in the age range of five, six years of age. And the lady got tired that since they've been married six, seven years now, she's been paying the house rent. I said, eh? But the man is working. He works, he earns, he owns a salary, he owns a job, and he receives an income. So what happened? That at first they agreed that they'll have a joint account where they'll pull money and use it for the essentials. I said, yes, right, that's a very good option. It's a very good way to go about it. And then, of course, let me, let me stop there and... All right, so, um, sir, five minutes in my 20 minutes. Thank you, sir. And the, 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 the agreement was to have a joint account and then individual accounts. And I said, I said to people, I said, if you want to do that, you are both salaried earners and you, you know that you will be able to help each other, then contribute into the, fixed, um, the joint account in percentages of your income. So if you agree, both of us will put in 50% and 50%, good and fine. So the man is 120,000, he puts his 50%. And the woman is on 50,000, she puts her 50%. Or she's on 200,000, she puts her 50%. So out of that, you do all the joint things that you have to do. And then allow everybody to be at peace with what they have left. But I have learned of places where the, the, one of the people will come and clear everybody's money from the account. And leave everybody st stranded. You should be trustworthy to your spouse. He or she should be able to trust you. Depend on you. Be able to know that you won't do this and you will do this. Money issues many times is a major bone of contention in homes. Young homes. Old homes. Aged homes. Money issues. Sit down and have a discussion. This is how we want to go about it. My husband has never asked me for CC of money that came my direction for, since. From when we first got married. He takes full responsibility of what needs to be done. And the more responsibility he takes, the more God says, this man has so much responsibility. Let me make sure that he's not stranded to do what he needs to do. And that's the way I interpret it. That's the way I see it. He's not on salary anywhere in the world. 
and yet he's not stranded because it's time for children's school fees. I can walk up boldly to him and say, honey, children's school fees time is due. They'll be resuming in two weeks time. So, okay, yeah, bring me the checkbook. He has never said, eh, why? Eh, what of you? Did you bond them to bring your own money to? No. If you need to share your responsibility, go ahead and share the responsibility, but maintain your part. Husband, maintain your part. Wife, maintain your part. Be accountable to each other. What did you do with the money from our fixed deposit or from our joint account? Be accountable. This is what I did with it. Be people that are accountable to each other. Young lady, you want to marry now. And you ask the man, what job do you do? Let him be able to prove what he does. Oh. If you have to go to the office and see him in the office, do oh. Don't come and tell me a story later that hey, I didn't know. I was in love. You know, he's so tall and handsome. The love was too much. Shine your. You might, he might not have everything now. Please understand me. He might not have everything now. You remember God's servant has preached? When we, when we, when we were in courtship, he said he had one trouser. And I keep on saying that I never knew it was one. Because the shirts he has, he would make sure he washes them every use. Iron them, polish his shoe, and he will match like a gentleman. Knock his tie. I mean, you can't beat him. <laughs> Sorry, sir. What am I saying? With what little is available to you both at the beginning, be happy with it. Don't look at Sister Y and Sister Z. They are wearing designer shoe, carrying designer bag, eh? and um, uh, wearing uh, uh, whatever. You don't know how they got it. Don't come home and put your husband under pressure to give you what is not yet there. I said yet because it is coming. I read something. Someone sent me an article and I read about a woman, average income husband, very dedicated and committed. He doesn't miss out on his responsibilities. She, but she always wanted to live a bigger life than what was available to them. They had one good car and after he closes from work, he would drive, do kabu kabu, pick people, make a little extra income and come home and close for the day. And then unfortunately, the wife got sick one time. They tried to treat and treat. He spent all that he had and then they said she needed to have a surgery or something like that. And then... He was totally stranded. She was in the hospital and he came back home. He had already contacted who was going to buy his car, the car that used to help them to make the extra income. And then as he picked the car to step out to go to um, where he was to sell it, the key fell and it fell under the bed. So to get to the key, he had to lift up the mattress. And in lifting up the mattress, he found a bulge in the mattress. He checked, and inside the mattress was 450,000. Had been hidden in there by his lovely wife, whom he was about to sell his car in order to pay her hospital bill. So some of the excess money she has been collecting from him Making a lot of demands. She had been saving it inside the mattress. So, he picked the money, went to the hospital, paid the hospital bill, out of the change, bought enough food, cooked powerful soups, put in the deep freezer. Wait now, wait. Then, the remaining of the money, he bought a brand new mattress and put on the bed and went out with his children and set the old mattress on fire. Wife got well, was discharged, came back home, happy 
to be back home. Children happy to have mother back home. She's about to, is it dress the bed or sit on the bed and notices a brand new mattress. She said, what happened to the mattress? <laughs> the husband said, there were some ticks and flies and things in the mattress. So I had to burn it. Then the children said, yes, mommy, I was there when we were burning the mattress. She fainted. <laughs> she fainted first. <laughs> About five to six years down the line, anytime you see her, she'll be crying. Say, Why are you crying? Say, Oh, that operation she had is still paying her. <laughs> Stand up on your feet. And it was not your, the pain of the operation, but the burning of the mattress. And what happened to the money inside the mattress? And the husband never told her anything about the money forever. And she cannot ask that there was one. There is no way she can ask about what was in the mattress. Because nobody was to know what was in the mattress. And the man knew what happened to the money. And why the mattress was to be burned so that the evidence can die. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise.